So I'm going to go into the next one. Um, this is just a printout of what a, the business description looks like from that. It'll give you an entire printout. This is a different business I put in for a marketing agency. Uh, but we're going to hop into ChatGPT real quick. For those of you that have not heard of it, and I'll try to blow this up a little bit if you can read that better. So ChatGPT is um, it's like the internet many years ago. For, for those of you that wish you could go back in time in a capsule and take advantage of that when it all happened, which I do too, this is the next chance. And quite honestly, I think this is way more powerful than when the internet hit. So right now, ChatGPT is updated until uh, 2021, I believe. Now it has the capabilities of giving information that's completely current to today, because it integrated with Bing Search. But it takes all the data out there, and it acts as a mentor. In fact, um, ChatGPT knows who Ron Legrand is. I can tell ChatGPT to act as if it's Ron Legrand and give me Ron Legrand responses to stuff that I'm typing in here. Um, yeah, so it, there's, a, there's a few different uh, things that I would tell you. Uh, well, let's, let's just start out with the basics. So this is what I did here. I put in, pretend you're the world's smartest data scientist, because ChatGPT can become anything. It knows all the information, basically, on the planet, for the most part. Um, and you have customers. Uh, it's, pretend you're the world's smartest data scientist and you have a customer that buys houses from motivated sellers. They're wanting to buy a list of the highest potential homeowners uh, that would like to sell them at a discount and need to sell fast. What does that list look like? Slow down, take a deep breath, and give us the most detailed background on this list as you can. Who are they? How old are they? Tell me everything you know about them in detail. And once I do this, I can actually say get more detailed, and I can break it down even further. But this is breaking down um, that the ages are typically between 45 and 65, which seem pretty accurate. Um, it gives me the um, income level. So uh, middle income folks, we're talking about people who've worked hard all of their life and maybe haven't caught all the breaks. They need cash and they need it fast. Marital status is a mix, but you'll find a lot of divorced or widows and widowed individuals. Their lives take a turn and they're looking to simplify fast. Kids, mostly empty nesters, which, you know, you guys are buying real estate, so you know all these things to be true. You know, we buy lists of em empty nesters because they want to downsize. Uh, motivation level through the roof. These people are not tire kickers. They're motivated to sell because they're, they've got looming medical bills. They're drowning in debt. Emotional state, stressed, anxious, overwhelmed. Social standing, um, low to medium. They've got bigger fish to fry. Social cir circles. Um, the home age, generally older homes, 20 years plus. Um, the upkeep is starting to weigh heavy on them. Equity is high. They've owned these homes for years, maybe even paid off their mortgage. The house is their biggest asset, but also their biggest burden. And it's going into a lot of details on these guys. Um, I, and I can say, hey, let's get more detailed and dig into where they shop, where they buy their groceries. I, I can find out anything I want about the individual, which is very interesting when you're trying to buy lists, because this is all the data that a data scientist would use to charge you a lot of money to pull these kind of lists. Um, if I were to buy a list of these people from a data company, give me the list of the criteria I'd ask for when buying the list. So here's more of a bulleted um, list of that person with the demographic uh, criteria, the psychological factors, the property specifics, the social factors, the geographic criteria, the financial stress indicators, additional filters. Um, what you need to know about ChatGPT is it's basically a mentor. So all the questions that you have, if you need a calculation, ChatGPT can give you a calculation. If they know that you're trying to buy stuff with a Mayo formula, they, you can upload the data, which now, and I'll show you in just a moment, you can actually up to, upload uh, documents on the property and it'll look through everything and tell you exactly what to do. So it reads by, line, line by line. If you're buying commercial property, it'll go through the entire analysis of the property, financial statements, everything, and be your financial advisor. So it's much more than just typing something in and getting a little data. This has grown into something amazing, which I'm, I'm about to show you guys what level uh, ChatGPT has gone to. Um, so let's craft a letter that grabs the attention of these people. It'll write me a, a letter here. So dear homeowner, ever feel like your house is more of a burden than a home? Like every room is a, uh, is a reminder of what it used to be, echoing the memories, but not much else? You're not alone, and I'm writing this letter 
not just as someone who can buy your home, but as someone who can set you free. Imagine waking up tomorrow with no looming mortgage, no oppressive utility bills, and zero maintenance stress. Picture yourself debt-free, your bank accountant buoyant, and your life uncluttered. How's that for transformation? My name is your name here. I specialize in helping homeowners like you escape the emotional and financial quicksand that's pulling you down. But I'm not just any buyer. I'm the guy who makes you walk away with a deal that feels like daylight after a long, dark night. And it goes on and on. Why sell to me? And it goes into, I'm not going to read every word because there's a lot of detail here, but the quick closing, no repair hassles, cash in hand, um, this stuff is literally amazing. And the more you dial into this and understand it, the more it becomes your best friend. And I'm not saying all this AI stuff is perfect right now because really it isn't. Um, it's getting better and better. It will blow your minds if you're not using it. But every single week that goes by, this stuff gets even more and more intelligent. Um, it's learning by the day. So every week, this is different than the internet where there was just a big explosion and we're online and that's it. Like now we're all just trying to figure it out. There's another explosion like every like 10 minutes right now with AI. 